All right, guys, so let's talk more about your project. Your project is you're going to be using data about your week to create a piece of abstract art. So your project details. You can use simple materials around your home to create this project, paper, cardboard, pens, pencils, markers, color pencils, highlighters, um, whatever you can find around your house to make art. It does not matter. Just be creative with the materials that you can use. You can also use digital tools like Pixlr and Paint on your computer to create this artwork. So here's some more information about your actual project. So the project details and data collection. Remember, because you're collecting data to create this artwork. So create an abstract drawing using your data from your week. Use this key. So here's the key that we'll be using to create the data. Um, you can also create your own keys. Like let's say that you create like a minus sign for maybe the hours that you spent um, playing a video game. Or you could make an arrow or a, or a less than or greater sign for the hours that you spent on social media or whatever, which includes TikTok. <clears throat> I'm also guilty of that. Um, so you're going to be creating artwork based on data that you are collecting from your week. You can arrange your symbols however you want on your page. You can also repeat them as often as you'd like, making sure that you're keeping in mind the data. And you can vary the size and intensity. You can also um, just repeat them as much as you want. Um, you can use whatever colors you want for your data. It doesn't have to be the ones that are necessarily on the key. So you could change the diamond if you are feeling lonely to a different color, depending on your mood. That would be a good idea. Um, collect the data and then create your artwork based on your week. Um, be creative and make your um, composition balanced. So here's an example here of artwork. Um, this is actually from the book that the artist were based off of, um, Georgia and Stephanie's artwork. And so here's an example here. The following images are student examples right here. So I really enjoy um, this particular student's artwork. Looks like she used or they use um, digital art to create their artwork, which is totally um, completely allowed. I want you to kind of explore with different mediums and art forms to um, create this artwork. Um, I really like this student's artwork and how they made up this symbol right here. It's really interesting looking. Um, so take a look at this past student artwork to kind of get some ideas on um, what, um, what you could do for your project. So this is how your project will be graded. So it's going to be graded on overall composition, creativity, craftsmanship and effort, and successful and clear upload for five points. And I'm going to explain that in just a moment. So here's a better look at the student example. So here I'm going to actually show you guys how to turn in your artwork. So once you've completed your artwork, you will submit an image to your artwork here on or of your artwork on Canvas. The image must be clear and visible. Save your image as the highest quality available so it's not pixelated and make sure that you take a picture in an area of your home or even outside during the daytime where there's a lot of visible light, making sure that it's easily seen. If you're concerned about the quality from your laptop, take an image of your phone and then email it to yourself and then submit it here to um, Canvas. The images submitted with bad quality will be deducted points because I can't see if I can grade it. And if you have issues with submitting your image, please email me or grab um, get my attention here on, on Canvas. So I'm actually going to show you how to turn in your artwork because some of you guys have never turned in um, artwork digitally in Canvas. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that now. So here's your assignment. It's called Week 1 Data Drawing. You're going to click on it. And once Canvas comes through, you'll be able to see the Submit Assignment button. Here again is some of the specs and some of the directions for the actual assignment. And down here is the actual rubric that I'll be using to grade your artwork. So if you have more uh, questions about what I need to do to successfully complete this artwork and get a good grade. It's all right there for you on Canvas. So to submit your artwork, you need to make sure you take a good image with either your laptop camera or your phone. And then you're going to be submitting it back here. So click the submit assignment button and you'll be submitting a file, which is a picture 
um, and you can, you're going to choose your file and depending on wherever you saved it it'll pop up there so you'll select it and it'll come up right here and then you just hit the submit assignment button and it'll um it'll allow you to submit the assignment if you have any questions please reach out to me and let me know if you have any questions um, make sure to check my office hours you can reach me in canvas my email which is here on the screen and then you can also reach me on Dojo as well. Hey guys, so I briefly wanted to show you the book that this artwork or art project is based off of. It's a book that I purchased. It's a visual journal and it has you basically follow the directions to create different types of journaling based on data. And it's all data that's based on doodles and designs. And so I was looking, looking through the book, I kind of got some ideas for my own artwork. I was really inspired by this page here with the natural shapes and the different colors. I really like these shapes here, the geometric shapes and different color combinations that they were showing. And then the different combinations of all these types of shapes. For your project, you're able to use whatever you can find to draw on. You can use the back of a cardboard like a cereal box, notebook paper, if you have sketch paper, or just maybe um, copy paper. That's um, what you're able to use. I decided to use the cardboard from a cereal box because I like the juxtaposition of the colors against the surface of the cardboard. And again, you can use whatever sort of supplies you have, pens, um, pencils, markers, um, color pencils, crayons, whatever sort of supplies that you have, um, color pencils and even pens, just regular pencils is totally fine. As you're working on your artwork, I suggest you turn it around in different directions so that you're not stuck in working on one specific area and make sure that you're switching back and forth between different types of mediums. As you're working on your artwork, just think of it as kind of like Zen tangles where you're just free doodling, but now you kind of have a reference or a key that you're working on. And just make sure that you're turning your artwork in different directions so it's visually balanced. Also something to keep in mind, value. Use value in your artwork as well in the different shapes that you're creating. Like I mentioned before, you guys are allowed to use different types of mediums, and I suggest that you do so you can see how they oh, look when they're overlapping each other. And I also suggest kind of taking a break, stepping up, stepping back and seeing what your artwork looks like as a whole. I'm encouraging you to create your own keys and your own symbols so it looks more personalized to your artwork. When you're done and you're finished, and you feel like it's finished, I would like for you to take a picture of your artwork, like I suggested in the... Um, presentation, please take it in a place that is well lit and the image is clear and then submit your artwork back to Canvas.